This is an interesting little question. So um, we are looking at line integrals now with respect to x, y and z. And we're going to look at this question here. Compute the line integral, uh, the integral over the curve y, z, dx, add x, z, dy, add x, y, dz. Uh, over the curve C, which is parameterized by T, T squared, T cubed, between T equals 0 and 2. Now, we're going to do it two ways. The first way is the way that you should do it, and the second way is the way that you shouldn't do it, but it's nice to know that you can do it the second way if you want to. Okay, so method A is to parameterize everything in terms of T, so we can get the parameterizations from here, so we know that X equals T, y equals t squared and z equals t cubed so therefore dx equals dt dy equals 2t dt and dz equals 3t squared dt so far so easy so then the integral uh, over our curve uh, this integral here becomes all we got to do is we got to put in our parameters in here so y we have as t squared so that's t squared times z is t cubed and then dx is dt Add uh, this one here, x is t times z is t cubed times dy, which is 2t dt, and then add x, which is t, times y, which is t squared, times dz, which is 3t squared dt, and everything is in terms of t, and we know t goes from 0 to 2, so t equals 0 to t equals 2, and all we've got to do now is do this relatively well, very simple integration, uh, adding them all up, so that's t equals uh, 0 to t equals 2 of, we've got t to the 5, add 2t to the 5, add 3t to the 5, which is the integral of 6t to the 5 dt, which equals t to the 6 over 6 times 6 between 2 and 0, which is 2 to the power of 6, which is 64. Okay, so that's the way to do the integral, and that's definitely the way you should do it. Now we're going to do it another way where we don't actually parameterize it in terms of t. What we do is we put x, uh, we put, for example, in this one, we put y and z in terms of x, and then here we have a separate integral, we put x and z in terms of y, and here we have a separate integral, and we put x and y in terms of z. It's really not recommended to do this, because most of the time it's not easy to get x and y in terms of z, and x and z in terms of y. But in this particular case it is, and so it's, it's just interesting to, to do it, to make sure that uh, you know we all understand that we can do it. Okay, so basically we know uh, from, from our param parameterization, if we look in in terms of x, well, we know that y is x squared because we know that our parameterization was t, t squared, t cubed. So we know that y is x squared and we know that x is therefore x cubed. And if we look in terms of y, then we know that x is root y from there, basically. And we know that z would therefore be y to the power of 3 over 2. Again, need looking at the parameterizations or, or that. And then in terms of z, we know that x is equal to the cube root uh, of z. And we know that y is equal to z to the power of two thirds, either from there or from here. Now what we can do is, uh, let's just uh, uh, rewrite, oh and also we know that uh, as t goes from 0 to 2, we know therefore our coordinate system goes from 0, 0, 0 to 2, 4, 8. And that's important because when we do our x integral we will integrate from 0 to 2, and when we do our y integral we'll integrate from 0 to 4, and when we do our z integral we integrate from 0 to 8. So just rewriting our integral along the curve, which was y z dx add x z dy add x y dz we can rewrite that as three separate integrals what we're going to do is we're going to integrate between x equals 2 and 0 of y z dx add we're going to integrate between y equals 0 and 4 that's x equals of x z dy and then we're going to integrate between uh, z equals 0 and 8 of x, y, dz, uh, and then putting uh, these things here in, we get this integral here, is the integral x uh, equals 0 to 2 of y, z, so that would be x squared times x cubed dx, add uh, here the integral y equals 4, y equals 0, 
x and z in terms of y is this. So that's root y times y to the 3 over 2 dy. And then here add z equals 0 to 8. Uh, and uh, x here is the cube root of z add, uh, sorry, times z to the 2 thirds dz. So we have our dx integral in terms of x, our dy integral in terms of y, and our dz integral in terms of z. So all we need to do now is integrate them. So that's the integral between x equals 2 and 0 of x to the 5 dx. Add the integral between y equals uh, 4 and 0 of y squared dy. Add the integral z equals 8 to 0 of cube root times 2 thirds z uh, dz dz and now all we need to do is do these so that is a uh, whoops my apologies x to the 6 over 6 between 2 and 0 add y cubed over 3 between 4 and 0 add z squared over 2 between 8 and 0 that's what that equals, and then basically, so x to the 6 is 64, so that's 64 over 6. Add, uh, 4 cubed is 64, 64 over 3. Add, and 8 squared is 64, 64 over 2, which equals 64, 1 sixth, add 1 third, add a half, or 6 out of a third, a half is 1, so that equals 64, which obviously gives us exactly the same answer as our first method here. Um, but it's just interesting that you can do it this way. I really wouldn't recommend it, but it's interesting to do as an exercise once and then don't do it again. Basically do it this uh, parameterization way. Okay, well, I hope you found that useful um, and it leads nicely into our next video where we're going to be doing uh, vector line integrals. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please uh, give a thumbs up by pressing the little thumbs up button and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.